What's up guys? This is the Wolfman and I am here to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Denmark. So the runoff happened last time, we successfully captured Kashmir and destroyed the Mughal faction and we are now beginning offensive operations against Persia. We've taken Afghanistan, Sahedon and Persia are about to be put under siege. So we have pretty much uh, humbugged the Persians and we've got them in a pretty awkward position. But first off, Frederick Carlson is going to destroy this army under Hutan Yaktin, which is already depleted. So let us attack. And this will immediately be put up by attacking the with uh, Martinson's army to also destroy them. We have now secured the Indian Peninsula. So we have now got absolute... Okay, so... I'll absolutely storm up to the top of this hill. To be honest, I might deploy all my guns in a great big line. My howitzers will be on to the side. Let's put the first Kalmar. Actually, let's put the first Kalmar front and centre. So let's pick a few units, then the first Kalmar. Sweet. So let's put a few flank companies in position. This is a very elite army, but they've been here since the fall. They've fought all the way through India. The first light horse and the second light horse. Just run. Because my houses can properly fire from here, but yeah, I might just make them just just stop and open up. Too late, guys! I'm storming down the centre. Where did the first camel go? Now they're on the left. So they might be facing camels. They've been engaged by the camel gunners. You go after them, you go after them, you go after them. Just attack them, because this is where the slaughter is going to be. General's dead. Camels are done for. Form the line, let's keep the light, get the light missiles attacking the camels just to make sure they don't come back. Charge the hillman. Oh, mercenaries are getting charged. Lots of dead Indian mercenaries. Yeah, cavalry are capable of chasing down camels because camels are slow. Other cavalry unit start to intercept. Get all of you artillery fire at the damn camels. Good. Come on, 
kill those damn hellmen. Because that's... I mean... I mean, I'm not going to bother charging those men there. Come on, kill those hillmen. There's only two of them. One of them. Good. Now come up here and continue the attack on these men here. May as well take that single unit out. You are about to wipe them out. Good. Go after the dervishes. Damn. They're going to rout. So you, everyone, go after this Indian mercenary unit by the looks of it. Yep, that's what it's going to be. There we go. And there's one guy! Get him! Yes, it was decisive. Incredibly decisive. Joe, you see big stacks and lots of troops, but it doesn't mean they're well equipped or well led or in any shape to actually survive. Ah! Oh. Manar Pramot! Can you push on and hit Eskander? No. But they're probably the same. They are depleted, so let's see. Let's take Martinson hit them. They are also depleted. And let us attack. Empire is wide open. We've got no... Well, there's a couple of um, Afghanistan that might cause us some problems, but not with our advanced artillery and firing drills. Soon we will break upon Europe. Let's deploy my artillery back here. Because that's plenty enough. Okay, let's pick up. And I'll just make it one line. Don't need strategy. Form a really long line. Advance up and envelop them. General in the centre. Says, shoot at this camel lane lad you get first. Oh no, they've already fired. Okay, both you guys form square. The rest of our line push up. You're going to just clip the square and be drawn in. Like these guys, I don't even. Send in the Swedish Legion. The Nordic Legion is also ready. This mercenary will just be smashed. Let's charge another unit into support. Kill 
You guys form square. You guys hit the general's bodyguard. You guys hit the bowmen because those guys are being shot. At least if you kill the general's bodyguard, it means that the general is gone. It's like it's like a proper unit kill. Okay, let's get my this household bodyguard out of the direct line of fire. Get them chasing down these kids I've been musketeers. You guys turn the fire right off. Let my household cavalry deal with it. The general's bodyguard died in combat with my line. Just keep chopping down their bees. Did they? Ah, reinforcements. I forgot about those. The rest of our line can be dealt with. Yeah, so you might lose our guns. That's okay. Guns can be replaced. Chasing down those tears. What matters is our howitzers surviving because they can at least provide some good fire support. There we go, we take them out. Hey, they've stopped attacking our gunners. So is this it as far as reinforcements go? <laughs> they're still they're still killing them with artillery even though they're off the map. chase them down. I think though, that's probably it. Absolutely we're going to continue because we've got some good slaughtering to do. Okay, so they're dealt with. Most of these are probably going to escape. Yeah. But soon the battle is over. Yeah, there we go. Inconclusive battles, it just goes to show. They must be suffering from some economic woes. Okay, you guys continue the replenishment and march on to Kabul. Same with you, Mr. Carlson. On you go. So where is it? I've got my... Okay. So you guys are pushing up just fine. Next turn they'll be under siege. Next turn Zahedin will be captured. We're successfully fighting them here. Let's upgrade chap school. Let's have a look at what buildings we've got. See what the true wealth will be when we get rid of these church schools and start replacing them with industrial buildings. 
we are going to make a ridiculous amount of cash. Let's send one of these guys up on a long walk to... Warsaw. Could send him in by ship, but not really bothered. Trade ships have arrived. Take this position. And let's take a handful of ships to go take this position. Ah! Dute. Bless the West Indies firmly under our heel. So we get a Caribbean fleet put together. Also have Odd Bjorkman sail on to Moose Factory. I mean, yeah, that's just a, that's an auto resolve. If ever I've seen any. Territory is ours, and they're going to hate us for a long time, unless we. Yeah, look, Protestant missionary. So how many missionaries have we got? Two, New Spain, thirteen colonies, Louisiana, thirteen colonies. So I'm going to build a church school here, and that will hopefully turn the tide in favour of Protestantism. Hopefully. Okie dokie. So you want to build... Okay, reloading skill 30. Okay. So we want a couple of pieces of foot artillery. To cover breaches and stuff. Okay, good. Once this unit's recruit once this, this once this line is recruited, that army's done. You could probably do with getting a reinforcing army just to sit nearby. I mean I want some firsts, that's what I want in that fleet. Two units of guards, and let's get another unit of... Well, heavy horse guard artillery is a waste here. So are those massive foot, those massive howitzer units. 32 pounders. You don't need them. Not for city defence. I might go for some 12s then. Because they've, they've got less fire firepower, but they're more accurate. Rupert's land is ours. Lots of raiding, but we dealt with them. Yeah, we captured Afghanistan previously. Starting to build a church school. So we've got a couple of more armies around that could cause problems. Also, I'm not going to upgrade this town because that's just a recipe for them to blockade it or to destroy it. Let's check out India and make sure there's nothing more we can upgrade. Okay, let's combine. Just get rid of that militia unit. Send our Indian mercenaries up to the there front. There are currently no troops. I don't need to garrison the fort. Awesome stuff. This is no. This is really kicking now. Frederick Carlson, hero of the army. Too bad he is going to die at some point. He's a happy drinker, great general, hero of the army. His men love him. Let's reinforce the Kalma. First Kalma to make sure they don't lose any experience. Can you guys leave the territory? Yes, you can. They'll be grumpy for a turn, and then fine. Because let's also push you guys up. But you could also do with some... Just a regular unit of infantry. <gasps> Gurkhas, Gurkhas, Gurkhas. Right, okay. So, 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 so. You want to get rid of one of your mortars. Howitzers, sorry. You don't need them. Let's combine the heavy cavalry together. Because I want to build some of my own Gurkhas. 
to be honest, actually, Frederick Carson might get some Gurkhas as well. To be honest, all of these guys might get some Gurkhas. Because Gurkhas are great. Compared to... I mean, obviously, there's, there's limits. Like, but compared to a Grenadier, which are they're quite good at combat. Attack 10, charge 14, defense 16. Compared to... Well, attack 15, they've got less defense. They've got less defense, but they've got more damage on the charge. So they are, they are a bit... Or do they have less on the charge? 10, 14, 16. No, but they got they got loads of melee attack. And I really like the Gurkhas in real life. So... I want some Gurkhas. Because they may come in handy when attacking some cities. So I'm going to disband, well not disband, I want to get rid of these two units. Because they're both Indian units, but I'm still replacing them with authentic troops, which will be really useful when attacking cities. Sweet. In turn. As our spies continue marching on, our reinforcements are moving up. France is about to kill the 13 colonies. So France is going to be a real good enemy. Because they're going to have the economic benefits of pretty much the entire American continent on their side. Which might cause us problems. It might not cause... And then we will also gain those... <gasps> oh, yeah. Yeah, they're definitely going to take... <laughs> they're definitely going to take Georgia... So the Persian army is getting in a position to do raiding. Which is fine. They are about to get destroyed. So we will let them have their petty indulgences. Especially when we lay siege to <clears throat> lay siege to their capital. They see their capital and Zahedan. We're going to push them back. The only territory they're going to have is Azerbaijan. So they're going to be a bit screwed. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Yep, I can imagine. Church school. Fair exchange. Let's replenish these forces. They're, they're pretty decent. Well, they're pretty elite, but still not going to be good enough. I might build walls around Calcutta, actually. That's probably a good idea. My sword's going to be upgraded. Someone's got their hammer going. Okay. Let's upgrade the cube and commercial basin. I did notice in Ireland. Yeah, Weaver's Cottage. Upgrade you to commercial basin. Basin, probably going to upgrade you to a global trading company. Let's build this guy into an industrial building in Dundee. Lots of good investment in Punjab. First two units of Gurkhas. Well, the first was that the first? Oh, yeah, you did get two Gurkhas. Oh, you were always a unit down, weren't you? Okay. Well, you guys need to actually push up. Uh, you can gain this elite unit of sepoys. And I'm probably going to lose this Indian mercenary unit. So then you, Mr. Linfors, can push south. Frederick Carson, you are going to wait in position for your Gurkhas. You've got okay, so let's bring you with your horribly unbalanced army east. You can probably, yeah, that's not a fight worth fighting. So he and his ours, and let's replenish and let's build anything we need to build, such as a church school. 
I'm building loads of them because we're not actually getting many religious units in support. So let's get them into my spy into the fort. Ah, oh, no! Who 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 spotted the Denmark, the Dane in Persia? Yeah, Kashmir's on strike, but they're not. They'll be fine. You're replenishing. Load of mortars there. Um, hold on to it for now. I mean, I should have sent a unit to kick out their navy, and I still might do that. Let's take a unit of cuirassiers and let's send them to Bandarabas to kick their navy out. Let's upgrade you to a global trading company. Why not? We've got loads of money. God damn. They've got a long way to go before they catch up with him. Okay, let's upgrade this guy to a craft workshop, see if we can entice them east. Probably get rid of the Turkish bath, because they're already happy enough. Need to get rid of that foreign, that um, religious unrest. Oop, there's a sneeze incoming. Sorry about that. Um, okie dokie. So you're not in a position to advance. You've moved up. The cavalry is chasing down that army. So we gained Eastern Mystic. Minus 5% army campaign movement range. Plus 2 command when in battle against the Ottomans. You're going to be great against the Ottomans. Uh, so, Bay of Bengal. Another decent fleet growing. Let's send the fifth rate to India to help bolster the main fleet there. Then here. Let's build another second and two thirds. Because I want to send these guys to Straits of Madagascar. Build a sloop to garrison the port. Send Samuel Patterson out first. He can have a look. Do we have any enemies in the theatre that we can easily dispatch? You're still waiting to blockade and jump on the jump on the Ottoman the yeah the Ottoman port. Decent upgrades in Scotland and in London. To make sure they're all current and up to date. Aha. Iron workshops become Iron Masters works. You've still got reinforcements coming, haven't you? Yep, you do. Sweet. Let's hit enter. So let's watch what the Persians decide to do. As all of our reinforcing armies kick off. The Portuguese are going to be interesting to take them, three full stacks. But by the, by the time we get to them we'll have the entire economical economic might of India and most of Europe. You demand nothing of me, Persia, god damn it. Not Persia, Austria. Let's trade, but you have to give us 13 grand. I don't think I do have to trade with you, Austria. That's not how this works. When I'm making more money than I know what to do with, you can sod off. We are from the east. Yep, that was that was natural. I mean, they just ooh. I wonder if I can get if I can get someone to that. Ooh, hmm. 
Ooh, okay, hold on. I mean, yes, I'll fight that, because your mortars aren't involved. Let's do it. Attack them, they're gonna have to attack me. Um Oh, it's definitely <laughs> it's definitely should, should be pretty quick. Should be a pretty simple battle, but yes, the reason do not count because we actually oh I say do, for whatever reason the fort is somewhere else. The fort's like over there somewhere, I guess. Okay, so this is gonna be a bit of a kill box. So they do have, there are enemies coming from over here, although to be honest I don't think it will actually take, I need to block off this access point here, then my remaining troops are going to hold here to cover, to protect the high ground, let's drop my mortars in, let's slink you back a little bit. Got a unit of mercenaries in reserve. Got our dragoons and our general. Oh, nuts. Always, always, always forget. I thought we'd got my houses, but apparently not. Forgive me, how it says. Send someone up to protect them. To cover the withdrawal. Same up here actually. Let's run you guys up to be a bit of a blocking. Keep running! Keep running, how it says. Let's change targets for artillery. No, oh, they are routed. So let's at least kill these camels because they decided not to flee. And now they have. Look at these poor souls. Right, I'm not having this. Let's get some offensive operations on the go. Standard round shot going in. Shrapnel shot coming in. Crazy amount of death. Where's my dragoons? I mean, if they charge me with, into melee, then that's fine. Yeah, to be honest, they're all probably going to die. Dragoons. You're killing your own men. Oh. 
So let's get my... Okay, hold on. What's this? Okay, let's get my... No, let's get my... Troops out front. Dragoons out front so they can maul this musketeer unit because they will they will come back with that many men left. So everyone else, run! Yeah, they're shattered, so they're not coming back. Try and kill the Feline off. Come on, force them into the fight. All these poor souls just want to run away. Who'd have thought it? Okay, let's get you out of the way. Hey, they're wavering. The general's bodyguard. Those guys got muskets. Well, if you guys loaded, that's what I wanted to say. No, you're not loaded. Charge! Keep the uh, just keep the ball rolling. Go on, dragoons! You're doing brilliantly. So well now. Come on, lads, get some infantry support for the dragoons. It says they're winning decisively, but I don't think they are because they're getting starting to get chopped down. So let's. Pull my dragoons back to safety. If anything, let's make my dragoons go after them, probably. Well, they did charge, but they've changed their mind. Had a terrible moment. the unpopulous and there's more yeah it says they're winning we're probably losing much more men than we need to but meh doesn't really matter we 
Yeah, nice charge into the flank of a big cluster of enemy units. Lots of dead Danes. Charge straight onto that unit of armed populace. Everyone else just run up to the top of the hill. This is because I'm winning. Let's get my jump on that here. Make sure guard mode's off so they do slaughter them. They do chase them down and slaughter them. Them gone as well. No style, no finesse. It's on populace. Just keep on going. Even in my men are very tired. They are backed up at these point grenadiers. Maybe let's try to cut these guys off before they can support the main combat. Oh god, that's gonna hurt. Oh no, don't shoot. Oh, there's even more! Broken route instantly. As have they. That should be it. Yeah. That wasn't close. It was very messy, I'll admit. Could still managed to push them off, and to be honest, the garrison is now knackered. Yep, so they are ra they are beginning to raid, do some sneaky stuff, but that's their prerogative. Um, things are about to go very badly for them. And this is almost their, their last hurrah. Um, they cannot... They can't actually hold against us. So they are just going to cause trouble, uh, raid behind the lines, and... Yeah, this is why you need to have a more solid front line. I think it's, there's only one crossing they've actually managed to, they managed to get across successfully. If they held the crossing, they wouldn't have been able to do that. There is a port in this region that has not so yet we have been a break. Select the type of port to Another great walk. Fishing port will help your population grow. A trade port will uh, provide an income from overseas trade. A naval port... Greenwich can get a global trading company. Our navy guys got better and the Benzers got better. New port emerges in Finland. Um Make it a trade port. 
There's not really a need for a, na for a, a naval dockyard there. Because Russia's not growing their navy. Okay, so you build up here. So I want to be on the right side. Well, so what I want is them to be here. To hopefully entice one of these guys into a foot into a river battle. Frederick Carlson, I want him to be here to hopefully catch them on the ford. And Hartman, you need to advance out to the out to the east. And then you will strike them. But first, we're going to do some other stuff. So do we have any enemies here? No, we do not. This is Portugal. Louisiana, Greece, the Barbary States, and France. Nope. Onwards to the West Africa. It's got another ship. So I want this fifth rate to join Isbrandt Peterson, Peterson as the patrolling fleet here. Lots of recruitment in the Caribbean. I'm expanding my army. Got a new general, Torg Haugland. He's going to stand off and build pretty much a good reinforcing army. This means lots of infantry and a couple of units of good cavalry. Successful mission in, in Esfahan. I mean, to be honest, we could probably attack, but I'll let them. I'll let them charge into me next turn. Let's just boot their navy out. Yeah, simple fight. So you guys get in. Let's upgrade just upgrade Justicia. Let's make them an admiral. Can't build anything because the port is damaged. Can't repair it because it's not even our port. Cause it's in it's in uh, Persia. Your store replenishing, you take out that little loan unit. Then head north, we're ready to try and intercept this guy. Let's build you into a craft workshop. And let's take Hartman to go hit Adel Barzagar. But, looking at the timer, we definitely ran over. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for some more Danish Persian action. Cheers, everyone.